on them. All right, I am here with the gym owners, uh, Caleb and Kristen Shamlin, and um, got quite an impressive facility here. It's been, you know, it's been a great visit. Had, had an awesome time here in the last couple of days. Um, how'd you guys get started in this whole crazy cheer world? Oh goodness, uh, <laughs> goes back to uh, college where we actually first met at, and uh, we met at UCA University Central Arkansas. We both cheered at for uh, four years and definitely uh, started dating and. We both ended up graduating, um, I guess, our fourth, fifth year, and we ended up, I ended up taking a job with her mom, which owned uh, the gym at the time, which it was um, Ace All-Stars at the time, mm -hmm. which turned into Cheer City United that next fall when I came to take a, a management position there. Um, and ever since then, and we just, and we've been rocking and rolling, and that's how we first met. It's fine. Now, um, uh, your cheer backgrounds. When, when did you get started cheering? Um, I got start, I, start, I started off in gymnastics. My mom built a gym in Cabot in 1988, and so I've been a part of this program my whole life. My mom started cheerleading maybe around 98, 99, and just started started all stars then, mm -hmm. and went on to coaching. Awesome. After I graduated. Uh, okay. I, Yours isn't quite as extensive. No, so. no, I was always in organized sports. I was huge into baseball and football, so I've always had a passion for, for sports. And uh, uh, after my, my senior year, I started kind of getting into the tumbling and had some buddies ask me to come to the gym. I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. And uh, I started going to the gym. I started to learn to stunt and learn to tumble. And uh, that's where I really just started going, oh, this is pretty cool. You know, this is something different, you know. Uh, and after that, uh, I actually was graduating high school and uh, I didn't have any direction with football or baseball and um, I started to cheer and I went to a ULR cheerleading practice, one practice, and I started to learn to stunt, you know, even more and above and beyond and that was kind of my, my gateway to in the, into the cheerleading. Well, I cheered my first year, didn't know what I was doing and absolutely fell in love with it and uh, met so many good friends and after that I moved to uh, University of Arkansas, which I continued for four years um, and, you know, basically it got me, got me hooked, and the, the athletic side of it got me hooked 100% right off the bat. Awesome. Good deal. So, oh, um, business owners now, uh, Cheer City United transferred over from Ace, correct? Now, when did you guys officially do the move over here to Cheer City United? I think that was in uh, about 2005, right after I graduated. I came to be the program director when it turned into Cheer City. Mm -hmm. uh, our mom currently at that time on the gym, uh, and that's kind of how we started, and that's kind of really when I got into it. I uh, didn't have any intentions after we graduated to really pursue cheer afterwards, but I knew it was something that we loved to do. I had been coaching for, I mean, seven years before that, so uh, it was kind of my second nature uh, to, to just go forward with it. And I got an opportunity right out, of, right out of college, so I ran with it, and, you know, and honestly, here we are. How many years later? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Blessed to have it in my family. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Really I'm sure, yeah, because you've been in, with it, you know, for yes, forever. Yes. I mean, I, like I said, I've been in the gym my whole life, and I couldn't imagine growing up any other way. Yeah. We bought yes. the gym in 09, mm -hmm. somewhere around that area, and so we've been over since then. Um, and just kept everything, you know, going and building and getting bigger. And so this is our second facility that we've been in since um, our first one. So wow. definitely a good, good, uh, awesome thing that it happened to be able to build a new facility for our kids and all that. Definitely, definitely. Well, like I said, you guys have been in it for a while. Things are going well. Um, I think you guys got four locations now, I believe. Mm -hmm. So this has got to be a pretty great profession for you. What um, what makes this uh, the best business to get into uh, for, for you guys? Uh, honestly, it, we, we work together day in and day out. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's always fun. It's always a challenging but fun deal. Uh, we learn a lot from each other. And that's one of the biggest parts that you, know, you have to work with each other mm -hmm. to make things happen. And uh, we do... You know, you have your times, but we definitely have way better than worse, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes down to making decisions. Uh, we kind of split our jobs and who does what, so we don't do the same jobs in the gym. We do different things, with, minus coaching, but mm -hmm. um, we know probably what makes it the best for us is just the love of we're still coaching we, and we're coaching kids mm -hmm. that look up to us and that look up to all of our coaches and our staff and just to see um, them succeed in skills and things like that. That's probably the biggest reason why it keeps us going and keeps I mean, our drive. When you have a child that's working so hard on a skill and they finally accomplish that skill, their face and their excitement is priceless. Mm -hmm. The parents, you know, it's, that is the priceless part of it. 
Yeah. It's just right. a big like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a big, a good sow, you know? Uh -huh. I know, you know, it might be a $1,500 back handspring, but guess what? They got that. <laughs> they got that. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and, you know, they're, so they're, they're pumped and excited about it. So, and that makes it even, that, that's what brings you back every day. And that's what we do. We have a skill belt, and that, mm -hmm. I love to hear that thing ring. You know, we'll give the kids challenges here. Let's we'll hear at least four or five times a day. Yeah. You know, and you'll see these kids do skills they've never done before. Yeah. You know, and the board they've been working on, they're right there. They get over the top. You know, so that's uh, that's the most rewarding part, honestly, and uh, brings us back every day, ready. Awesome. And the, now the support of the family, the community is mm -hmm. amazing. Oh, yeah. We have some great supporting parents. And beyond blessed for them. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, like I said, that was one of the next thing I was going to ask is that you guys have, I mean, it's just a great atmosphere. It really is here, whether, you know, out on the floor or even, you know, when I was in the, the pure parent viewing area, um, just it seems to, it, it's a big family here. I mean, the, I mean, the kids love try, it here. Yeah, we try yeah, to make it does. a positive, friendly atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's a, a big all of ours. Definitely family oriented, you know, so. Right. Um, you know, and that's a huge thing for us is, you know, how everything runs and how our coaches act and how... We look as you know in the spotlight outside of here as well. You know what the kids are acting like at school, or mm -hmm. you know. So we have a lot of different things that it's kind of like we're mom and dad sometimes. Some of these kids, right. and they're not our kids. You right. Know? But you know, it, whatever we can do to help uh, is definitely what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Now uh, let's get back on the kids one more time. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you know that's um, that's always you know that's the great part of the, the whole co coaching profession. Yep. Um, give me some of your I guess your proudest uh, moments as coaches. Oh. oh, geez. I mean, there's, I mean, there's not, not maybe that specific ones, there's but then maybe general You know what, just the, be, the best part, honestly, when it comes down to the competition side of things, mm -hmm. or even recreation, is seeing, like we said, the kids at the skills, or seeing those kids after they hit a routine they've been working on for five months, and they come off with these huge faces, and, and we keep on talking to them about, hey, wait till you hit this routine, and wait till you feel that feeling of stepping off the stage and feeling success. You know, in my opinion, we push them for that for that long, and they finally feel it once they get that. It's like something I feel like we've taught them something, you know, and it, it's, they succeeded in something. So I feel like that's probably the most important thing that I feel like we can teach kids, mm -hmm. you know, um, is that and, and being on time. And structure is just really good structure for them. Yeah. You know? And if something goes wrong, you keep going. You, you keep going. You have mm -hmm. a goal, and you keep pushing yourself and push each other, you know, while you're on the floor. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys, I tell you what. Thanks so much for having me here. You guys have, have just got a, a great facility here. Great group of great group of people that are involved here, and uh, like I said, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.